Hello and welcome to 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and today we're going to play Chasm, another indie game here on Nintendo Switch. This game looks really good. Some very, very detailed 16-bit artwork. I can't wait for it. It's, it looks like it's got some really sweet high-action gameplay. I have heard it might be Metroidvania-ish. We'll see. We'll see. Strobe effects. I don't know why. Oh, I can turn on a CRT effect. I don't think I want that, but I always just end up checking out these things. We're good. We're good. Uh, is there numbers? There's not. Therefore, there shall be the standard 5J. Seed. Oh! Oh! If it's a seed, then apparently this is a, actually um, a roguelite game. So it's going to have randomly generated elements to the game. Interesting. Wow. So I have another great um, procedurally generated game that I like to play on Switch. But it's a Metroid style game. Like it straight up is, looks like Metroid if it was like a nightmare. So, you know, it's sci-fi. But then it's also kind of like horror at the same time that game's called a robot named fight and it's really awesome so we'll see if this is a similarly awesome uh game here all right uh seed i don't have any known seed numbers to put in here normal sounds fine let's do it <clears throat> i think i'm gonna have to have some cough drops because i've been coughing lately it doesn't make for a good stream just be coughing <coughs> Speaking of which, 5J, wake up! <sighs> Having a little stretch there. Jareth, I thought I'd find you up here. Did you fall asleep watching the knights ride off on their mission? Don't worry. You're the brightest recruit the outpost has seen in some time. Soon you'll be a full-fledged Gildian knight, and I'll still be here running errands for the commander. Which reminds me, he sent me to find you. Your orders are to report to Commander Silkser's office at once. You'd better hurry, he seemed even more impatient than usual. I do what I want! I'ma punch you! Okay, it didn't work. Ooh, there's like a scooch button. Yes, I love it there's a scooch button. Okay. Only a few different controls so far. Looks like so far we have Jacob Krupko in here, and that's that's about it. It's all right. How's it going, Jacob? Welcome to the stream, dude. There's a seagull out there. I want to punch that seagull. Keep out. Where I just was, or where I'm going? Sure. Be on the light of the Watchers, and your deeds shall be recorded in the Tome of Light. Their eyes will always find those who shine brightly. They remember our deeds in this life, and offer us a place by their side in the next. Let the light of the Watchers illuminate your path, and they shall aid you in your time of need. A Feasel? A Ephes, Ephesel? The Younger. It's quite a name. Question is, now where's the proper way to go? Oh, look! The little curtains on the wall shimmer. They, like, shake when you breeze by them. That's cool. A lot of action on this morning, but uh, the view sure is beautiful. It really is. Look at those mountains. The river is shimmering. Flag is waving. It looks great. Jacob's doing well. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I don't know where everyone else is. I'm doing a lot of streams today, so I might be fed up now. Like, oh, man. It's usually twice a day, max. What's this, four? I'm looking for the commander, too. I just don't know where to find him. Can I slide? Not really, but I'd still have that scooch button. So I'll scooch my way to the commander. Everyone who wants to travel in style travels via scooch. Last time I throw a dice in the barracks. Well, well, well. 
trouble for gambling, huh? Oh man, I want to ride that horse. It looks so stately. How do I know where the commander is? Am I going the right way? Planner is here! What's up, Planner? This is Roses are Red. So is 5J shirt. He's streaming again. I hope his character don't get hurt. Hmm. Me too. Oh my, I, I don't think I want to read all of this lore here, but there's lore in the game if you're a lore type person. Two recruits got gambling. Both sentenced to 10 days of extra duties. We've received report of bandits attacking. Okay. Doesn't exactly give me what I wanted. Alright. We found him. At long last, we found him. Scrub Kid says, Wow, you're streaming a lot. This one has to be the last one of the day, unfortunately. I was planning to do some Smash Bros, but then, right before the stream started, I was like, Oh, wait. I've got something else I have to do tonight, so I actually can't do uh, Smash Bros after this. Planner says, don't read the lore, Jay. Read our chats instead. I will do that. I will do that. And sends a smiley face. At ease, recruits. I have a mission for you. There's a small mining town about three days' journeys to the west called Carthus. This morning, I received an urgent letter from the town's mayor. He reports that the miners were attacked by a wild beast while working deep in the mines. Now they refuse to go back to work until it's been taken care of. I know this sounds like a trivial matter, but we depend on Karthus for supplies and raw materials. As you know, I sent the knights into mission yesterday, which leaves me a bit short-handed. I need you to go to Karthus and do whatever it takes to get those mines up and running again. I think you're ready to become a Gildian knight, but you must prove yourself first. I understand my orders. Good. Head to the armory and get properly equipped before setting off for Karthus. I think I saw the armory. Snowstorm, so I know all about that. We had the weirdest day of weather. Was it yesterday? Uh, no, it was Friday. It was raining. And then the rain turned into the largest snowflakes. Just massive snowflakes. And then it rained again. And then all of it froze. Real hard. It's like, oh man, so nasty. Da -da -da. So do I have to equip it? Short sword. So the Y and A hands have different weapons, potentially. I believe there's only one door I haven't gone through yet, and then in the bottom left is where... where the exit is. My shield. A shield would be great, actually. If you want to give me a shield, I mean, that'd be great. Chelsea's back. What's up, Chelsea? Says, hi, I didn't get a notification. Well, at least you got that uh, um, Discord thing going on, right? That's the thing. Just as we're getting 20 centimeters of snow today, we already got over 10 centimeters centimeter since this morning. Yeah, just lots of snow. But the good thing about being in Canada or Minnesota, where it does snow very often, is that we have snow plows to deal with it. In a place like Texas, if it snows, and it very, very rarely does, they don't have snow plows because it so rarely snows. There's not a real need to justify the, the costs of having these big expensive snow plows. So when it snows there, like everything shuts down. But Minnesota and Canada, 
we know that the snow plows are out there, they're salting the roads, they're plowing it all. It's gonna be fine, we can still get to where we need to go. Wow. His six days journey is, is really going on right now. That was all six days worth. Oof. Didn't look like he had any fun. Man, these graphics are just so beautiful. The detail, the snow is happening. The backgrounds that are scrolling at different speeds. The details of the trees. All these buildings don't look generic. They look very detailed. Just really awesome. And this music is so good. Jacob says, we didn't get snow on Christmas, and I'm kind of sad. You know, we had snow up until two days before Christmas, and then it got really warm, and all of the snow melted. So it melted just in time for Christmas, and then in a place like Canada or Minnesota where it snows all winter, uh, when the snow melts, that means all the grass and the trees, they're all dead. So when the snow goes away, it's not like it's green under there. It's brown, nasty, dead doesn't exactly look good. You want snow for the aesthetic, otherwise it's nasty. Can I open these doors? There's clearly a treasure chest in there. I want to steal these people's treasure. I like the scooch. I'm forever going to refer to that maneuver as the scooch. I'll just be scooching my way over here. scooch on this way. There's a lot of things to read here. 100 year anniversary. Want a couple of dudes probably to capture. Whoa, a lot of missing persons. And some old dudes sleeping in here. Thank the watchers a Gildian knight. Oh, you're only a recruit. Well, I reckon I should just be thankful I'm not alone anymore. I'm J.Q. Carthus, mayor of this town and the manager of the mines below it. Unfortunately, the mines have become less and less productive in spite of our best efforts. My crew began blasting in search of a new vein of ore, but found only the wild beast I wrote to you about. But then, a few days ago, things got much worse. In the dead of the night, a gang of hideous creatures came up from the mines and ransacked the town. When the morning came, I finally worked up the courage to investigate and found the town was empty. Please, you must find the missing townsfolk and restore Carthus. Take this key. It will open the gate to the mines. And please, remember to port back here if you find anyone. Will do, sir. Sounds scary. Chelsea says, our snow plows wait for the snow to pack before they plow, sadly, and they very rarely use salt or gravel. When I travel to Alberta, the roads are so much better and clearer. Oh, wow. So you live in an area where they don't like to plow, even though they need to. That seems silly, if you ask me. <laughs> huh. Well, then. Around these parts, they, uh, they plow pretty good, so I'm, I'm happy with it. That key happened to open up these doors by chance, because that'd be kind of cool. What you got for me? Keys. Inventory. The mine key. Yeah, it doesn't work. That's alright. We'll find another way in here eventually. Till then, we'll just scooch over to the mine. Okay, I think this part on out is all randomly generated. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, the animations of combat are excellent. There's a little bit of a Castlevania feel to it. Breaking those lanterns. Enemies bursting into flame. Which is good. I mean, that goes with the Metroidvania theme, right? It's just usually Metroidvania tends more towards the Metroid than the Vania. And I think this one feels a little bit more vania to me. Did I get some sort of piece of equipment? 
quilted armor, by the way. Lel. Maybe I got something in the bestiary. It's like a big wiki of monsters. What's that? Some nasty looking worm on the end of a rope. I ain't gonna deal with him. Looks like we have some sort of magic. That's what those blue orbs appear to be restoring. But we don't have any spells yet. These orcs are very weak. One hit to the face and they're down. It's possible there might be another mine or something somewhere and that this is just an intro mission. Seems very possible. Level up! Ooh! Oh, let's see. Where do I see my experience over on the right? Okay, I'm level two. Got it. Okay, then. Well, that's uh, a little bit of RPG elements in here, then, as well. Not just Metroidvania elements. And uh, if it's randomly generated, and we got a little bit of roguelike going on here as well. So I'm liking it. It's a good fusion of stuff. But most importantly, boy, these graphics just look great. This pixel art is so very detailed. Look at how deep that mine goes in the background. Looks awesome. Hello, who is it? Is there a map? Yes. Thank goodness. It's not like a Hollow Knight where they like make you pay for the ability to take a map. Thanks for helping me out of the cage, my child. I'm Narina. I run the magic shop in town. I was tending to my horse, Buttercup, very cute horse name, when I was taken captive. I hope she's okay. She gets awful lonely when I'm alone. When I'm gone. Stop by my shop and see me if you are ever in the need of my services. Absolutely. Gonna have some magic powers very soon. Okay, so what about over here? We don't take damage from falling, so that's nice. Ooh, there might be a little bit of puzzle elements here if we can push mine carts around. There is not a double jump. At least not yet. That guy was stronger, and here's our first different enemy. A classic slime. Again, he takes two hits, so that goblin earlier that takes one. Oh, and a bat. Take that slime wad. I saw in the trailer that there's a bunch of different types of weapons. And you have two hands, so I imagine some of the weapons are two-handed and some are one-handed. Yes! Level up again! Now I'm doing 11 damage to those guys instead of 10. It's not a big progress, but if we get a second weapon... Or a better weapon... Either way... A club! Okay. We'll put that in our other hand. Or is it two-handed? It might be two-handed. Ooh. Wow. Takes a lot to... Okay, we can't explore there yet. We don't have any way to slide. Did that bring my attack up or down, though? Well, up. All way up. Okay. Sweet. Jacob says, like Princess Buttercup from The Princess Bride. Oh, yes. Yes, great reference. Ooh. It swings real slow, though. I gotta be careful about that. Gotta swing sooner than I think. Ah, 
I saw that bat hiding up there. How dare he. Melee Man's back. What's up, Melee Man? How's it going, dude? He says, how's the streaming extravaganza going? It's going well. Oh, by the way, this game is a game that um, I bought just now from the eShop, just before the stream. Uh, it's been on my wish list, and it's on sale right now, and I thought, well, why not? Now's the time. Um, this game... Ugh. Oh, it... I, I thought I was going to need, like, the, the money that, that Chelsea and, uh, was it Craig? Donated today. No, it was Primex, because he's the current stream boss. But, uh, I thought that Go With The Craig had, uh, given me an eShop code, so... This one was, was paid for by Go With The Craig, so... If you watch this later, Craig, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm running low on health now. This club is cool, but it's costing me some defensive capabilities. Oh. A cave within a cave. And what is this? Hmm. I don't know. And the man says, before the stream you bought this? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, after the last stream, uh, I went to the eShop, you know, with those donations that came in. Thanks again, guys. And uh, I was like, oh, this is the one. It looks, it looks awesome. Oh, no! I didn't want to leave. Well, I guess I could look for the magic shop. Is it going to heal me while I'm here? Yes, it did. Okay. I guess it's not so bad. Huh. Did I just drink out of a bird bath? I see. So I can't buy any of this stuff, or... Oh, well, I don't have enough money anyway. The man says Sanjay and Craig. Sanjay? Who's Sanjay? No, it is a different spelling, Craig. Of go with the Craig. Yes. It's not Craig. It's Craig. I think, uh, Craig is a formation in a rock. Okay, back into the mines. Where's the mayor? Does he have anything to say? You gonna thank me for finding one of your townsfolk, Mayor? Let's see what he has to say about it. Nope, he doesn't care. Okay. So we don't really need to talk to the Mayor anymore, because he doesn't seem to care enough. And the man says, I feel like playing as much Wii Shop channel We Wear demo games as possible before the Wii Shop closure. And only Wii games and Wii Virtual Console games before the closure. Uh, I have to remember to get into that Wii Shop because I think it closes tonight. Not tonight, sorry. The 31st. Uh, and if that's the case, then I need to spend my money that I have in there. Make sure I get a few games. Uh, Ryoko-chan had suggested a game... I think it was actually in that um, Monster Boy uh, series that I was playing earlier. Um, there was like four or five of those games. She suggested a game in that series. So uh, I might might get that one. And I've got a bunch of other games in a big list. Whoa! I should have done that a little different. Ugh. Still got me in the head. Hey, I gotcha. They have a cave troll. Well, not no more, they don't. Oh, yeah, and we've saved another townsfolk. Bazden, thank you for your assistance. I am Professor Bazin of the Guildian Academy of Science. 
I first arrived in Carthus nearly a year ago, searching for remnants of King Trail's caravan. While staying in town, I learned of the ancient paintings throughout these caverns. To my astonishment, they were made by an undiscovered tribe living that lived here nearly 1,000 years ago. I named them the Ladori after these mountains and began to devote all of my time to researching them. They are a very interesting people, but their sudden disappearance is what captured my curiosity. My work was going swimmingly until something sneaked upon me and knocked me out. I believe we have a common interest in finding out why people both ancient and modern, keep disappearing here. The miners were last blasting on the bottom floor, so we should begin our investigation there. Come now, together we can open the gate to the lower levels of the mines. Can we now? What is he going to do? Where did he go? I don't see him. I think he took off. Millie Man says to bring my childhood back a bit from seven years ago. I want to play WiiWare demos and Wii games like Wii Sports. Go for it, man. But I feel like playing lots of Mario Party 2 today. WiiWare demos tomorrow and Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort on the 31st. Well, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort are not exclusive to the Wii um, shop channel, so you could always play those. I think I'm done with the club, man. It's too heavy and slow. Um, and the man says, check the news. I saw it said at some point January 31st. Oh, was it January 31st? I thought it was January 1st. So, if it is the 31st, then we've got some time. Not lots, but some. Let's check the map. Did I already go up this other way here? This way. Did I already go this way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, we've been here. Blue Shep, what's up, dude? He says, hi, Jay. How was your Christmas? It was great. How was yours? He says, for Christmas, I got a new flat screen TV and an Xbox One S. My grandma got me Fortnite and Minecraft for it. Sweet. Nice. There's some good Christmas gifts, huh? That's awesome, dude. You're putting it to good use? Been playing it like crazy since then? Yeah, I like the extra speed of this weapon. Pulls my buns out of the fire a couple of times, I think, here. Blue Chef's is my Xbox One S came with Sea of Thieves. Ooh, that's a fun game. I want to go back to it because they've added a lot to it, and I haven't checked that out yet. I got it, like, at launch, so I saw it with the least content, you know, that it'll ever have. It'll be interesting to see where it's at, like, a year later. Maybe it's not a year. Maybe it's six months. Whatever it is. It's a significant amount of time to be able to have new content. Ugh. I keep missing these bats. How classic is it that bats would be so annoying? Like Keys in Zelda. And uh, Fortnite came with a deep freeze bundle. Not sure what that is. I'm sure it's... Ah! Maybe characters and skins and... Oh! Characters and skins and weapons and stuff, probably, huh? And the man says, yeah, I used to be obsessed and into the Wii Shop channel and Wii channels like Internet, Photo News, Nintendo, and Forecast channels in 2011 to 2012, especially. What about the Everybody Votes channel? <laughs> that was a weird one. I'm not sure which attribute just got increased, but a random one just got increased. Have at the goblin. Oh, 
Oh, I need to remember my scooch move. That's a good way to hit somebody and then scooch away. And the man says, I used to play lots of Wii Sports. And Wii Sports a lot during that, during then. Oh yeah, man. Wii Sports was great. Wii Sports Resort. I loved uh, specifically the Frisbee Golf and uh, Archery. Those were my two favorites in Sports Resort. Oh, and then the sword fighting one was pretty awesome too. I need more ways to heal my health. I'm low. Oh, we're back in the weak area. Oh! I want that treasure chest, dude. Blue Chef says, Five Nights at Tingles. Oh. Boy, that'd be a nightmare. And the man says, Everybody votes channel and check me out channel I use too. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good times, good times. But still for me, the virtual console is always my favorite. I couldn't believe all the stuff that came to the Wii virt virtual console. And it'll never be that robust again, probably. That was just incredibly good. Warrior unlocked, what does that mean? They have a cave drill. Is Warrior one of these creatures and I have to find it in here? Ooh, there's a lot of them. 87 different creatures. Yeah, I don't know what warrior is. Maybe it's a different class? Maybe next time I play, I can select a class? Map-wise, where am I going? There is a place to go down over here that we have not been to. And the man says, archery, basketball, wakeboarding, air sports, sword play, power cruising, and cycling. Amazing sports and resort. Boy, I don't remember some of those. Ugh. Still going the way I want? Yes. Yes, I am. Blue Ship says, Five Nights of Tingles 2. Tingles Mental. Jacob says, Five Nights of Tingles. More like Five Nights at a Pringles? I don't know what that means. The only thing I can think of with Pringles is the potato chips, which are delicious. And the man says, Yes, the Nintendo eShop was not as good. They forgot Master System and Sega Genesis and the like. And that, unlike Wii Shop, the Wii U eShop did do some things that the uh, the Wii eShop did not. So I mean that that was good. They had um, DS games and GBA games. Was there another category? I'm not sure. But those two games were unique. They didn't have those games on the Wii Virtual Console, so that was nice. They did something new. Yeah, they ported over a lot of games that were on the Wii Virtual Console. But uh, having the new ones there was cool. So we'll see what the Switch does. Is it going to just try and recreate all the most popular ones that, you know, have been on the other Virtual Consoles in the past? Will they get some unusual ones? They will, get, will they get games from systems that we haven't seen before? Like the 3DS eShop was cool because it had Game Boy and Game Boy Color games and Game Gear games. Those were not on any other virtual console either. So 3DS had uh, another eShop that was pretty sweet for that reason. Trying something new. I think this is all new from here on. Oh, maybe. And 
And the man says, I just wish they would let you download most games for free before the Wii Shop closes as you'll never see many of those games again. Of course, I wish they'd give me free stuff all the time. Well, this guy actually did help somewhat. Traveling Rose is here. What's up, Traveling Rose? Welcome, welcome. Blue Ship says, everybody votes channel. Wait, what? Ah, just the name makes me laugh. Yeah, it was weird. And you voted on weird stuff. It was like cats or dogs. So basically, I guess what it would be like would be a Splatfest in Splatoon, except all you'd do would be vote, and that's it. There was no other gameplay to it. <laughs> that was it. And then they'd tell you how everyone voted. It's like, cool, dude. Traveling Rose says, it's a me, Citrine Zelda. Oh, welcome back, Citrine Zelda. I like the name. The name change there. Blue Shep says, is Red Dead 2, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 rated M? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Too bad. I mean, I'd like a game like that that wasn't quite so mature. But for streaming purposes. I don't really care how mature it is when I'm not streaming a game. Shh, shh. Those are like little hedgehogs. Kinda. And the man says, which is better, an N64 or GameCube? Hmm, that's tough. I didn't actually own a GameCube, so I'm going to be biased towards the N64. My friend had a GameCube. But boy, I have so many memories playing 64 games. And not nearly as many playing the GameCube games, simply by not having one. So... I'm going to tend towards the 64. But, really, I'd, I'd want to look at the library and think about it and say, well, gee, this had so many games. Silver Ring. What can you do for me, Silver Ring? Accessory 1. Gives me more intelligence? Okay. I'm assuming that's some sort of magic trait. Or magic benefiting trait. Right now, I don't have any magic, so... Not real helpful yet. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't really want to read all that business. Blue Chef says, vote Rockstar Games or Epic Games. Epic Games. So, Epic, I can't remember all that they've done. So they've done Unreal Tournament slash Championship, which is awesome. They've done Fortnite, obviously. That's the big thing right now. Ooh, they did Infinity Blade, and I love Infinity Blade. Um, they did Gears of War. But Rockstar does all the GTA stuff. They did Bully, they did... All the Red Dead Redemption stuff. What else has Rockstar done? I feel like I'm missing something. So far, just from thinking about it, I would have to say Epic at the moment. Because I've never really been all that big into GTA. Another man says, yeah, I think the N64 is better. Had lots of good memories. Yeah, the 64 is so sweet. Not that I don't love the GameCube, of course. GameCube was great. But man, nothing's going to be able to compare to the first time I played some of those games on N64. Because 3D gaming wasn't a thing yet. And when it came out, it was so revolutionary playing Super Mario 64. Um, it was so revolutionary playing Ocarina of Time, still my favorite Zelda, tied with Breath of the Wild. Just so good. 
Um, so being able to replicate a feeling of that going from the Super Nintendo to the N64, and what a leap that was. Mario Kart 64, GoldenEye, oh my goodness. I can't even tell you how many hours I spent in GoldenEye with my friends and family. Whew. So many. Nothing to throw back at this guy. There you go. I still can't get in there, though. Oh! Ah, lots of chats. Chelsea's is a hard choice. N64 got me into gaming, but I really loved my GameCube when I was a teenager. They're both great systems. There's no denying. And I love the aesthetic of the GameCube. The other man says I'm more interested in, in N64 than GameCube, but I also do want a GameCube in many games. Well, yeah. You don't really have to choose which one, you know, you play for the rest of your life. Blue Chef says, you know what's weird? I have a bunch of GameCube games, but no Mario GameCube games. Oh, really? Hmm. They tend to be expensive, though, so if you didn't get them at launch, they're probably still, like, full price today compared to the original sale price back in 2004 to, what, 6? 2002 to 2006? Uh, Blue Chefs' Rock started Max Payne. Max Payne. I don't think I ever played Max Payne, but I think I'm familiar with it. Man, the man says, I want to try Mario Kart Double Dash and Star Fox Assault, and an N64 textured Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. What do you mean, 64 textured Zelda Master Quest? Remember there was the Zelda Master Quest disc for GameCube, but wouldn't that be GameCube textures? I never got around to playing that. I think my friend got that disc, and I still never even got around to playing it. He probably played it without me and was like, eh, I don't want to play that today when I'd come over, probably. And of course, Smash Bros. Melee is amazing too. It is. It is crazy fast, though. Crazy fast. Chelsea says Mario Kart Double Dash is my favorite in the series. Really? Wow. I, um. I think I've played very little of Double Dash. Very little. Man, the man, I don't know the next time I'm streaming for Nintendo Prime. It's been so, such a weird schedule lately that, I don't know, I feel like I'm always trying to just keep up with my own channel. Splatacake, see, what's up, Splatacake? Welcome, dude, he says, is this the game where you need a banana? Where you need a banana? I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Why would I need a banana? And I'm going to say no. Uh, Blue Chef says, my dad has Goldeneye for the GameCube. Was that Goldeneye Rogue Agent? Because that's a different game. I had Goldeneye Road Rogue Agent on the DS. Alright, I think it's time for the club. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we're talking about GoldenEye on N64. And those two games are quite different. Ugh. Gotcha. I am so close to being dead here. Oh, but I got an iron ingot, so yay. Jonas is back. What's up, Jonas? Welcome, dude. He says, hey, sorry that I can't watch your stream anymore lately. No problem. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Uh, Man, the man says, sorry for asking that. It feels rude and annoying. Some of my favorite YouTubers have rules for don't ask what game is next. Well, you're asking when I'm streaming on that other channel next. Not the 
next game. And I don't even know what game is next anyway. I don't plan ahead. Actually, I'm thinking tomorrow uh, I probably will be doing Smash Bros. and Majora's Mask. Because I, uh, I gotta play Majora's Mask once a week. Oh, he got me! Rats. Game over. I believe this is a procedurally generated game, so I think it literally is game over. We'll see. Oh, I can continue. Well, it must be procedurally generated each time you start a new game. And then your save points from there must all be... Okay. Makes sense. I saw in the video that uh, you can get a whip in this game, and then it really feels like uh, Castlevania. So, I hope to find one. That'd be great. Oh, we just lost a bunch of progress, though. Yeah. Here. Oops. Going this way. And the man says, Sarcasm! <laughs> I see what you did there. Sarcasm with the game chasm. Yes, indeed. It's very smooth. And that pixel art is just to die for. It looks great. does seem like you're going to have to get good, though. I should probably make my way back to the town. See what magic I can buy for myself. A healing spell would be amazing. It's got a cool inventory system. There's uh, some light RPG elements. It looks like there's areas that I have to slide to get through, and I don't have the ability to slide, so... It does indeed seem like there's going to be Metroidvania elements of... You have to get a new ability and come back to get to areas that you haven't, weren't able to get to before. Blue Chefs is at 7 p.m. I'm gonna go see Ralph breaks the internet. Nice. I've heard people like that one. I haven't seen it yet, so I do not know how good it is. Again, I keep coming in here, and I mean to be looking for the magic shop lady. Magic knife. A silver ring. We already have a silver ring. Magic knife. A spell for magical throwing knives. Okay. By the way, what can I sell to you? Oh, nothing? Oh, do I not have that silver thing anymore? The silver ring? Oh, man, we found it and it's, it's gone now. Okay. Okay. So, it works like a normal weapon. It's in my right hand. So I gotta restore my magic. Oops. Oh, yeah, all those blue orbs along the way. That's the only way to get it back. Got it. Alright, back down. I've only got like seven minutes, so I, I can't play a lot longer. This doesn't seem right. I like this music. It's a very good soundtrack. Ah, yeah, yep. This is where I want to be. Now, follow me. All right, Professor. What's your face? I forget. hit. Ok, 
Come here, fella. Man, this mouse doesn't know a rat. It's no mouse. Well, this rat doesn't know when to take a hint. Back off! Clearly, he's overpowered. Just wanted to see, oh, what it would take to get a kill with these magical knives. It takes quite a lot. They're not very powerful. It's okay. They're distance weapons, so they can be useful in other ways than straight power. Blue Shep says, Five Nights at Tingles 3. Tingles Robot. Tingles Robot? Are these plays on the actual names of the various Five Nights at Freddy's games? I wouldn't really know. Ugh. So close. Oh, wait, was this where the silver? Yeah, the silver ring. Inventory. No, equipment. Oh, it gives me better attack. Oh, the intelligence makes magical attacks more powerful. So those throwing knives that I have, which are actually magical knives, are actually more powerful now. Sweet. Boy, I pretty well have to call it here. Head back and save. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's much more effective now. Sweet. Well, that uh, silver ring was well worth my time. I might want to get a second one from the magic lady, but it is kind of expensive. I want to consider buying another piece of equipment since I don't have anything on my head or my feet. That's right. Wow, I can't believe a rat was carrying an iron ingot. Seems a little extreme. He's a very strong little rat. Before we save, I think this is going to give us all of our magic back. Book of Incantations. We have not found that. And we cannot afford a turban. Mm. There's a bunch of magic stuff in there. I think I'm going to get another silver ring. And now, if I equip a second silver ring, my intelligence goes up more, my attack for my magical knife goes up even more. Okay. I like it. Sweet. Cool game. This music in this town is so good. I love the snow. It's so beautiful. Really cool game. Uh, I've really liked all the games that I've played here today. So this was fun. Uh, tomorrow I'll be streaming Majora's Mask and um, Smash Brothers. So look forward to that. Um, yeah. Thanks for coming, guys. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.